Good night and welcome back to Tuesday's Generation YouTube channel. This is part two. If you haven't watched part one, uh, I'll link the description. I've just removed the battery and yeah, because we're gonna do some welding now on the exhaust. So we're removing the battery, we're fitting the reversion chamber. So yeah, that's basically it. And then hopefully we're gonna have some time to do the the induction as well because Hassan had to do a few things and we started a bit late but yeah that's life so yeah so Hassan's just getting the grinding pin or whatever this is in that here so we can grind and put the well the reverse chamber onto the existing part of the exhaust so we're just gonna do that quickly and then yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Hope you enjoy the video.
good day and welcome back to ZZ Nation YouTube channel. So we're just putting the induction quickly. So it's been a bit hectic, raining and stuff, and I don't have a for mouse. So only I was just help. So yeah, we just we just took out the battery and we're gonna remove the battery bracket now and move it on the K box. So I'll show you now. Um, so that's basically the battery back that we removed. There's normally another piece on there, but I already took it off. So, yeah. First start up with a new induction. Battery located. Yeah, so just about the battery location, you don't need to do anything. You can use your standard uh, battery bracket. You take it off where it is and you move it to the top. Put the 10 mm bolt in there on the mounting. And you just pull it like tight tight and then you get like a piece of rubber or a mat or something you make a hole in there so the battery basically go on top of that and then you get the universal uh what is this battery bracket i bought this at midas 25 there, and it works so you must just swap your battery terminals around from left to right and then it works so you can obviously check what what uh, what works and what doesn't so yeah now we just need to drive at least a week or so and then we'll go back to Z-Line and then do a, uh, yeah, basically an after power run. Um, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Shot. Uh, yeah, we should be done now. Um, I think this was probably going to be more than part two. Uh,